All right, so here's the Subaru Forester. It's been hitting the door, so we got uh, quite a bit of damage on this door. What we're going to do first is we're going to, well, what we have to do is we have to replace this door. Um, I have a new door that I picked up from Subaru. We also have some damage on this rocker, which surprisingly it didn't push the rocker in as far as I thought, but um, so we're going to repair that, if you can see that. Um, the door actually shuts pretty good. All lines up, so it's a matter of just uh, switching out all the interior, the guts of that door and painting the inside and replacing it. We got a new trim molding here for it. And we also are going to, this wasn't related to the accident, but we're going to replace this fender, or repair this fender. So we'll show you that. Looks like this bumper's got a, something going on there. So we'll take care of that for them. Let's get started. We'll get it in. This is a, also, also a pearl white, which is a tri-stage finish. So it's got uh, a base coat, a mid coat, and then a, a top coat. So let's pull this in and get started. Okay guys, so we pulled in the Subaru Forester, um, <clears throat> getting it ready to start tearing apart and prepping out this door. Let me show you the door. I hope the sound quality is a lot better. Uh, I, I purchased a, a little external mic and I think the sound quality is so much better. I'm so happy with it. Just an inexpensive $20 mic, but uh, it makes just a world of difference. So, okay, this is the new door. We have to sand uh, this paint. I'm going to use uh, probably 600 grit to sand all the inside of this door, all the inside of this door, um, so I can spray it the pearl white. Get this ready, and then what we'll do is take the insides of that door there and put them in this door. Okay, so I've got this pretty much sanded. I used the 600 grit uh, paper with a scuff pad to soften it up. I kind of, I got it all sanded pretty well, but what I'm gonna do now is go around it with a, just the Scotch-Brite and get in all these little grooves here that I couldn't really reach with the sandpaper and uh, finish it off. Then I'm gonna flip it over, probably sand the other side um, and get it ready for paint. Also, I'll probably use 320 on that, on the orbital, DA orbital sandpaper, sand, sander. So. Okay, so I've got all that sand and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my uh, orbital sand. You can do this by hand, but I'm going to do it with a DA. Uh, this is 320 grit, which is coarse enough to get that paint to adhere, really. Uh, 1500 is coarse enough, but you want to make sure it's going to adhere. Um, on the back side, we did 600 and then 1500 Scotch Brite. Um, and I'll put a link in the description for these materials in case it's something you need. But the other thing to note is that on the under underside, when you're sanding and prepping that out, you gotta make sure um, where that door panel goes, you'll see the holes where that door panel snaps in. You wanna make sure you paint enough, cover enough area so when that door panel goes on, it covers. It's not, you've got enough paint on it so it's not showing black, so. Okay, let's do this and get it ready for paint. Okay, this is all sanded. It's all ready to be painted. We're gonna probably seal it beforehand, but uh, what you wanna make sure of is when you're sanding this and prepping out a door, if you're painting one, is just to make sure that there's no shiny areas on it, um, that all the shine is knocked off and sanded so uh, the paint can adhere properly. I'm gonna put on the inside of this, because it's, there's a lot of curvatures and angles, some Bulldog, which is an adhesion promoter that promotes the adhesion and it's 
same stuff they put on aircraft. It's called Bulldog. I'll leave a link in the description if that's something that you're interested in or need. It's a good product to have if you're doing uh, painting areas like bumpers and door jams and that kind of thing. So, um, but yeah, this is ready. So we're, I'm going to flip it back over and prep out the other side for paint. I don't know if uh, it's towards the end of the day today. I don't know if we'll paint it today, but tomorrow we'll be back at this and paint it. So. Okay, so we got the door off. Here is the damage on the rocker. I'm gonna show you here. You can see it there, uh, pretty minimal. It's just a, basically a dent. All right, now we're gonna tackle this dent on this fender. I'm going to slide something inside this <coughs> fender. <coughs> These fenders are very flimsy. I mean, um, so I'm gonna get in there, use the tire to pry against it and pop that out while I dolly this high spot down and get this back into shape so we can uh, use some body filler on that.
Okay, I don't know where I left off on this video, but the uh, Subaru is done. Give you a picture of it. Give you a uh, <clears throat> final look at it here. The door repaired. Fender repaired. So I think I was buffing it last video, but we got it all put together. I didn't really film that. Fix the damage in there. So, another one down on to the next project. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. See ya.